Hello everyone, Fabri here and welcome to Shades of Tech. Today I will show you something really, really cool and interesting. I will show you how to picture in picture your videos on YouTube and Netflix and pretty much any video player on the web on your Mac running macOS i Sierra. If you're wondering what that means, PIP AK picture in picture is the possibility to downsize your video player's window in order to keep running your workflow with different windows open at the same time and continuing the playthrough of the video. In other words, you will be able to continue watching your favorite Netflix series or YouTubers and watching your email or checking the web or working on whatever you want to do. And your small videos window will stay always on the top and where you place it on the screen. Of course, you could downsize the window or keep other tabs open, but it's uncomfortable and long to do. And more importantly, your window will always go beyond the others. And it's so frustrating. No. This method is simple, fast, and especially, it's free. The name of the program is PIP Fire and you can easily find it on your Mac App Store. I'm testing this on macOS iSierra, but you can install it even with older SO. I wasn't sponsored, I promise. I'm showing you this because I sincerely believe that if you spend many hours watching YouTube videos or Netflix videos, as I do, you will start to appreciate it after you use a couple of times and we'll really start to love and enjoy this. Anyway, as I said before, it's called PIP Fire. It's free and you just have to search on the Mac App Store and install it. I leave a link for you in the description. When you first open it, you will receive some simple steps to allow it on Safari. And it's pretty much done. Now you just have to launch a video on YouTube. Then this small icon will appear. Press it and boom! you will have your PIP video. It's great, isn't it? Now, your PIP has some simple controls to pause, to upscale back and to close the window. And of course it works with Netflix too and many other web players. Honestly, it worked with all the ones I tried. For example, I could watch the last episode of Marvel's The Defenders, the latest new TV show on Netflix while I'm editing my last video on Final Cut Pro 10 on 8K versus 4K. Or I could search on YouTube some tutorials on downsampling and then try it for myself on my favorite editing program on my Mac. Or even more I could discover about the iMac Pro from some crazy guy that spray painted his iMac in space grey color and then search on Safari on Apple Web Store all the information on the iMac Pro. And by the way, I am that crazy guy. You can move your PIP window where you want on the screen and if you want you can even hide it on the sides and adjust to the size you are more comfortable with. I've noticed that if you will change the resolution from the YouTube page, it will automatically change it, even on the PIP. So if you watch 4K content, you don't have to be worried. And the best feature is that even if you're running your app on, on full screen mode, it will still work and stay always on the top without compromising all the controls of this app. And if you go back to your desktop, it will still work without any problem. A small downside is that you can't PIP different windows to watch different things at the same time. It could be useful with live streams or football matches 
and so on. This could be something they implement in future updates. So that's it. As I said, I'm showing you this because I sincerely believe that this simple addition will change the way you watch videos online. And if you want more how-to videos, please go very first touch on the subscribe button and be sure to check out my next video on how to fast forward videos on YouTube app on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 11. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!